see a number of, uh, of things that, that send up these massive red flags. We're not talking about your normal back and forth of, you know, any given political football, right? It is it has been an all out deliberate attack on the president and they've been getting it wrong again and again. And I think the people in the middle are curious enough to find out if the media is still getting it wrong. Well, it's interesting because you mentioned Whoopi Goldberg who said it, but then Joy Behar told us what we all knew. Right. She admitted that, that, look, we jump on anything even if we don't fact check it because we want Trump out of office. Yep. We don't want to do the research. And therefore, in a way, we're justified for not doing the research, and we're justified for not telling you the truth. And at Ketzer Cortez, we are justified in completely and totally exaggerating the points that we make as long as we believe that we are moral. Therefore, we can tell you that the world will be gone in 12 years and then be outraged when you call us on that because it was simply a piece of political rhetoric right. to make the solid moral point that we're trying to make mm -hmm. and then follow that by jersey on I guess it doesn't really matter where I go it just everywhere I go he just follow me oh he let I was gonna turn there too I and that's how it is sometimes isn't it you know when you have a lot of time to think about things like a child we opened up yesterday with uh, a child was born just the other day came to the world in the usual way. There was planes to catch, bills to pay. Said I'd like to stay, but you know. I woke up this morning singing, uh, singing this song, if I can only think of it. Ah, Runaway Sue. Hey, 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 hey. I keep away from a run around Sue, yeah, hey. Hey, I don't know where I heard it from. Maybe when I was getting one of those uh, large blueberry iced coffee, maybe, probably, you know, subconsciously, you know, it just stays with you. <clears throat> so anyway, um, it is the 11th, February, February 11th, and uh, the weather in Florida looks beautiful. I mean, the struggle there is real. I think 80s all week and yes you are with the nighttime rammer with his large coffee and uh yes there is something about that uh, up here i mean the symbols of success i mean a good day seriously is just like you know what are, i mean what are, like a fancy little coffee like you know you get a shot of this or that I don't know how to order them all. Like you know, I can I can hardly read the sign up there at all. It's everything is in small print, and um, it takes a long time anyway. I don't know what it is. They have like like seven, eight people in the place, and I don't know. They get all they get they get flustered with like one or two customers, and they're just like I don't know. Then the drive through, it's just like something weird to look at. Maybe the Howard. Schultz, maybe he can uh, explain a little bit more about businesses. I don't know. Maybe it's different at that company. But anyway, we're slowly looking at at the the three Democrats there because um, I think the media is not letting it go. Well, I mean, we heard a little bit of conversation about it, about how you know like these, these the standards are just like totally crazy. I mean, you can't... Well, I mean, a lot, well, they realize that. A lot of them are trying to get rid of them, but you fall into this trap, like, you know, because you had the Steve King there, and now you had this guy. 
you know, there's there's kind of similarities to it. We don't know what else. And they were both, you know, in Congress or whatever, working for us, us or our. Notice my speeches. It's like our, our America. They both say it. All of them, both sides. I can't say it's just on the one side because when I think about it, when uh, when Trump was campaigning, he's like, oh, I, I believe so. I don't know. We don't know. Is all this even irrelevant at the end of the day? At the end of the day, what is, what is important? What is important? That you've done more good than harm or that you tried and you gave it your best. I mean, when I, on the way up, the minute I turned on the, the radio, just like, you know, just see what's up. Not that anything is going to change. It's just going to be the same old thing, even if the topic is different. You know, we're talking about the Grammys, like, you know, mentioning, I don't know, first this, the first that, or this, or that, you know. It's, we've been hearing this for a long, long, long time. Yesterday morning, you know, before I started the show, I put, you know, the content of character. You know, the content of character, you know, I mean, we got to really think about that. <laughs> yeah, and then I also thought about that, too, on the way up when I went over a few bumps. And I'm like, these guys have this huge price tag on all this stuff, and we can't even fix roads. Watch, I'll go over another one. Can't even fix roads, and you have all this stuff. I don't know. The one thing there is to get rid of planes. I think. I don't know. Maybe only certain people will be able to travel. Like because we have to save. Like you know, it's almost ironic. You know, years ago they used to have you know Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, or there's people like you know like just to make fun, you used to get in this jet and all this kind of stuff and everybody. Let me tell you something, deep in my heart, the earth is at a perfect spot, perfect location. It's going to take a lot more than, you know, some of this, uh, I mean, sure, we can stop the process a little bit, you know, we, we can do our share, we can do our part, but we still have to travel, I guess. Unless, unless they can make bikes go at the, the the sound of you know the speed of sound or the speed of light or something like that. I don't know. How do you power something like that? How do you power? I mean, there could, it could be. We gotta look at all this energy instead of wasting our energy. We also have energy. Humans have energy. You know, we gotta be careful in how we use it. Hear what they're talking about. It justifies everything. Mm. It justifies lying. It justifies blaming somebody who isn't to blame. It justifies saying anything that we can't prove hey. because hey. our arrogance is our truth. Hey. Yeah. Oh. 866 90 Red Eye. We'll be right back. Alright, so, um, and yesterday I went over to my cousin's. Yes, I don't, I don't. I don't have the, the iPhones or anything like that. I don't want them. I don't want it. I mean, maybe if something happened, you know, if uh, if I made it, say, I don't know, not really making it, but what what's to do with it? I I, I do my little thing here. I, I don't need to go overboard, you know, about it. I don't need to have it on. I'm not getting like like I'm not a, I'm not running a business here. And as far as the family is concerned, all right. I once did that thing with explicit, explicit, and implicit. But explicit, you do it because you know you have to do it. Here we go. Im implicit, you do it because you know you're not being told or anything. You do it. It's out of, to me, my definition. I'm am taking it for the show. I'm just using it this way. Implicit, it, implicit. Excuse me. Is for like you know. I mean you you you. you, you no know one's telling you to do it. Do you think with the family and everything like that? It's like they have to. 
and they got to do a certain requirements they do the minimum thing that they possibly could and that's it you know they do it so if you go over you ask for something and, and you know they they're like all right i gotta do it. i guess i'm related to this guy you know um so i said you know and I and I know and I know that she's capable. I know I know she can do good work. I know she got an eye for art. You know she, you know. I said, can I take a few pictures? I need a profile pic, like you know. And uh, you know, I found a little location, like 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 in the house, like no, 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 I go outside, like you know. I mean, I thought the lighting there. I mean, these cameras are supposed to be good and everything. And then um, I don't know, just, just out in the yard. And I guess there was a wall there. And, you know, just, I said, just snap away, we'll look at it and everything. No, it just came out, it was like, like I, I, on the side, it had, like, this big shade. You know, I, I don't know what it was, like, it was this, this, this like, this miniature football field. I was like, what the hell is that? Like, you know, I'm trying to fix it. I said, why me? Why me? I had the worst luck with technology. When I did this show, going through the cameras and the computers and everything, that's why... I don't mess with things. I mean, this thing here can take pictures, but I don't like to mess around with the settings. I mean, and plus, I don't know, I'm doing the videos. Anyway, I, I want, if I want to be have it done, I want to have it done nice. I want to have it done, done to match the show. Like, I, in my mind, in my subtext, and I was telling her there, try to, you know, make me like a shock jock, like, like Stern or something, or Beck, or anybody. We'll get to we'll get to that in just a sec. I mean, the thing with Stern, how he made it, like you know, he just thought about it all the time. You know, same thing with uh, Savage or anybody. You know, like people that that make it, like the speech yesterday. He's talking about how you know her parents, I mean, everyone, both both Elizabeth Warren, both Amy. They talk about this this thing, you know, where I don't know, wherever the dad worked and this that, you know, struggle this, struggle, everything struggle. But to get to a place like, you know, I mean hard work is usually rewarded. You know, it, it comes whenever you're ready for it. I mean you're just you can't get there if you don't do anything. I mean most people they work at things. You know, they work at it, it's in their heart, and they want it, nothing's going to stop them from getting it, and they do it, but are they happy in it, like, you know, are they happy? These speeches, like, you know, I mean, here we are in 2019, and when I listen to, like, like some, some people who follow this, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, been following it for their whole lives, you know, through school, this and that. They know. They know their. They know everything about it. They know their craft. They know how things end up being, or they can explain away a lot of stuff, make it simple. I mean, just like like he, the the man here was talking about, like 2019. You know how much he can get. That it's going to be very limited to what he can get done. And you see it right now. You see nothing but gridlock. We're coming up against the 15th. Is there going to be a shutdown over this, over that? What's he been trying to do here? A few little things. A few little things. And then the speeches. They're going to do everything. You know, the college. You know, the medical. The health care. The climate. I don't know. Just keep on going on and on and on. Everything. And just keep on listening. The snow's coming down. The wind. Now I'm gonna have him arrested. Don't worry, he's gonna be arrested. He's gonna be in jail. All this stuff. Hey. If you notice, hey. I have friends. Hey. Hey. Democrats, Republicans, hey. Independents, whatever. And on, on social media, nobody wants to even discuss this. I mean, they even people I know that are like big left wingers. They're, they're not True. even commenting like, True. like whoa, did you True. see this interview and nobody's saying nothing like I really feel like, that way. Oh my god. Been going at this this, is really this has been going on for a while. And I'm thinking He's right. Do they have uh, uh, look whether you like Donald Trump or not, he, he's the president, right? You know, and it's like uh, I knew he was gonna be president from the time he got in the race.